So, so as I said, today we are doing back-to-back stem and leaf plots. So if you remember with our basic stem and leaf plot, we had the stem and then we had the leaf. So say, for example, if I had a two like that, I might say that the data is 23, 24, etc. Yeah? Okay, with a back-to-back stem and leaf plot, what you're going to get is two sets of data of the same thing. So if you look here, okay, so we have two lists of data, Luke. Um, and so we have employee one and they're saying here's the set of following number of televisions each week um, that they sold, okay? So because it's the same sort of data, we're showing how many televisions they sold every week, we can use a back-to-back. -back. So we're going to compare employee one and employee two. So what you, you will still have your stem coming down the middle. It'll be here. So I'll have a stem here. So we'll call this the stem. And then on one side, we're going to have, say, employee one. And the other side, we're going to have employee two. Now, if you remember, we um, have to have the numbers in order from like lowest to highest on a stem and leaf plot. And you also need to have a key. So I'm going to have a key. I'm going to explain that if I have three dash one, that equals 31. All right, so let me do employee number one first. If we look through, what's its smallest value is? 18, isn't it? So I'm going to put a one and an eight. Is there any other ones in the teens from 10 to zero? Yeah, 19. So I'll put a nine there. What's the next largest one? 21 or 20? 20. 20, so I'll put an O, I've done that one. Then there's 21. Then there's 23, is it? And then there's 27. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the 30s. What's the lowest 31 that you can see there? 35. And there's two of them. Then there's 36. So I'll put a 6 there. Then there's 38. Done. And also 39. Okay, then we move into the 40s. We've got the lowest is 43, 45, then 49. And then I've got 150, which is 58. So that's employee number one. Now I'm going to do employee number two, but I'll do it in red so you can see. So we're going to do employee two in red. So we're going to go find the smallest, which is 17, isn't it? So we're going to go out the other way. So this way I go 17 that way. And there's two of them, so I put a 17 like that. Okay? Then I've got, I'm going to move into the 20s. And I have a 20, so that's the smallest. Then I have a 28. Then I have a 29. So I do that. Can you see how you go out backwards? From smallest, it's going out the other way. And then we're going to do 30. I have a 30. I have a two twos and two sevens. Then I'm going to do 40. I have a zero 40. Then I have a 48 and a 49. Oh, whoops, missed one. Good, thank you. So 45, 48, 49. Oh, I missed 46. So even worse. Six. What was it? 48 and 49. Okay. All right. So that's a back-to-back -back stem plot. If you remember, we can... Remember I said you can uh, turn them around and then we could describe the shape. So if we look at this one, who remembers? What type of shape do we think that might be? Yeah, I reckon that's sort of symmetric. With... This one, we have to be careful because if you have a look, um, if I just grab uh, this one like that, even though if I turn it on the side, see down here, it's not going from 
smallest to largest there, is it? It's actually the other way. So you need to, you probably need to flip that. Um, if I can do that, left, right. Oh. oh, did that work? There you go. So see if I flip that, that's now low, smallest to largest. So what shape do you reckon that one is? That looks like? Good, negative skewed. So just be careful with when you're comparing this side of a stem and leaf plot, all right? So you're gonna go off and do your questions from 5C, start at question eight.